हेलो स्टूडेंट्स आई एम भाग्यश देशमुख फ्रॉम मैकेनिकल इंजीनियरिंग डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ वॉलचंद इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी सोलापुर आई एम टेकिंग दिस सेशन ऑन फेल्यूर ऑफ मशीन एलिमेंट्स दीज आर सिंपल फेल्यूर्स दिस इज पार्ट वन ऑफ दिस सीरीज एट द एंड ऑफ दिस सेशन यू विल बी एबल टू राइट द डिजाइन इक्वेशन फॉर टिपिकल मशीन एलिमेंट्स here the typical elements are under tension under compression under bending under shear we will be discussing some cases related to the tensile failure in this part start with the rod under tension this is the typical case when we consider a rod under tension let us start with the first case here i am taking the first rod which has a circular cross section and it is axially loaded the force acting on this rod is p if i draw its side view it's a circle having the diameter equal to small if you look towards its area if i draw a revolve section over here or remove section over here i can see that this is a cross section which is circular if along this plane if i do it the section over here is circular now let us see how to begin with the design of a rod under tension we'll choose this format of equation force p equals two brackets first and second the first bracket will always correspond to to the area which is resisting the failure and second is the corresponding stress if it is a case of typical static loading if i start writing with this equation then force p i need to equate force p is equal to two brackets first bracket is over here i'll begin with the first bracket it is pi by 4 into d square because this typical circle is having the area of cross section as pi by 4 d square using this as cross section i need to multiply by using a corresponding stress i am going to use sigma t as the stress now why to take sigma t because if i see the loading condition the component is actually loaded this is the axis of the component the load is applied actually it is bound to happen that the length of this bar is going to get increase and the diameter is going to get decrease this is the typical case of tension therefore i need to use stress as sigma t now here i want to establish a thumb rule which is useful for further calculations if the loading axis this is the load is perpendicular to the plane of area resisting the failure this plane it is this plane which is perpendicular to the axis of loading it is a case of tension therefore one has to check what is the loading direction and accordingly which is the plane which resists the failure you will be able to identify the type of failure therefore this stress is sigma t let us move for the next i will change the case of loading and the component now the component over here i am going to take it as a rod 
you may please check the first case the rod but the only change is this rod is now made hollow we can establish its side view the component is loaded actually as like in the previous case and the force acting is p the outer circle diameter is capital d and the inside circle diameter is small d the area of cross section if i take a plane over here at this plane the area of this component is or the cross section of this component is shown as this is the area which is resisting the failure i need to establish this area outer circle diameter is capital d and the inner circle diameter is small d therefore as per our rule the equation can be obtained by force p is equal to two brackets first bracket represents the area which is resisting the failure and second bracket represents the corresponding stress therefore if i go on writing the equation it is pi by 4 into outer circle diameter is capital d square minus inside circle because there is no material i need to reduce the corresponding area which is pi by 4 small d square therefore the equation is pi by 4 d square minus d square this is the total area available multiplied by the corresponding stress here again our thumb rule is applicable if i use extend this line check the area the area of cross section if i say that this is the area of cross section the force is perpendicular to that and therefore i can say that this is the component no doubt and this was the cross section the force is perpendicular to the area and therefore this stress must be sigma t remember if the area is reduced if there is no material over here i need to reduce that from the outer area outer area is pi by 4 capital d square and inside area is pi by 4 small d square let us check another case with some more complications again i have changed the type of bar now it's a square rod or a bar obviously under tension let us see this is the bar square bar i am using the square bar is loaded under tension this is the pull force p applied to the bar its cross section if i draw the side view the component is rectangular the dimensions are this is w and if you take this as h this is the cross section if i again go for its available cross section if i take this plane 
here if I take a plane and check what is the exact cross section of this component the area which is resisting the failure is this much the dimensions are available as W and H as per our rule force P equals two brackets I have used force P equals W into H which is the area of this rectangular cross section multiplied by sigma t which represents the component loaded under tension. Why it is loaded under, under tension? The reason is if you see the cross section again, if I extend this line you can see that it is perpendicular. The component will fail like this the force the cross section is this component has failed over here after loading I need to avoid that failure this is force P I want to avoid the failure and hence I will consider that the failure domination is in tension and hence I am going to use sigma T at this location. Remember when you use the component under tension or compression the orientation whether this width and this height the plane has no effect on the resistance. That means if you change H or and W if the orientation is change instead of this plane if I orient the component like this where this is H and this is W it is not going to have any impact on the design equation because here only cross section is important. We are going to see a case where orientation matters a lot. We will see that kind of failure also. Thank you.